Hey you doing? Graham Lawler here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel, what I do is I do home brews, uh, mainly stouts. I'm mixing up now bits and bits and pieces, IPAs, the whole lot. Today I'm doing something totally different. I am actually going to brew a Cellar 7 Malbec red wine. This seems like a really good kit. It's very simple for anyone starting out. You have all your ingredients inside it. I'll unbox it now and show you and this is meant to be ready in seven days now, I've done a good bit of research a lot of people are saying yeah it is ready in seven days if you leave it for ten it'll taste much better so I'll just unbox it here now and you have all your little packets I'll go through these when I'm actually brewing them I'm gonna brew it and it's done in different stages over the course of the seven days so I'll be start stopping the video and you'll see it all in one hit. Well here you have a pack which is findings number two. Uh, pack E findings number one. Uh, pack A five gallon yeast nutrients. So that's the yeast that you're going to put into it. And then we have pack C which is five gallon stabilizer. Anything else in here? here's your juice so this is your concentrated grape juice so what we're going to do is we're going to empty this into your fermenter which we have here oh, so here look here's what we're looking for anyway here's what it comes with now there's your little uh, instructions it's really good it actually gives you a step by step this should be wine making for dummies because it has everything you need to do step by step you fill in your dates, tells you how to check everything, when to add the yeast. It's literally, hopefully foolproof. I'm saying this now, we'll see when we come to the end of the video how good the actual wine is. Um, the moral of the story, to put it short, is you're going to put this in to your fermentation bucket. You're going to top it up with water, which you've heated up to between 22 and 25 degrees, up to your 23 litre mark, it says. Now, I'm not going to go to the 23 litre mark. I'm probably going to go 21 and a half, leave it a bit more flavoursome. Alcohol content might be slightly a bit more, but I reckon it will give it more body and more flavours. So I'm going to go ahead now and literally show you what you do. This is all being sterilised. I've only done this here now this evening. If you're doing this, you need two fermentation buckets because halfway through you're going to be transferring from one to the other, but you'll see that as the video goes on. So first thing is you get this, give it a little shake, open up, I don't want to put that on that, I don't want to contaminate anything, open it up, oh it smells nice, <laughs> it smells very, very sweet and very sugary, but nice at the same time, so we're literally going to empty this in here, get it all in, I'm wearing a dark coloured t-shirt because I don't want any splashes of this going on to me. You definitely don't want to be doing this in white and you don't want to be doing it anywhere where there's carpets or basically I have wooden floors here so I'm happy enough that if I get a few splashes on this I won't mind. Now this is empty what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to fill this full of the water that I'm going to be using in the rest of the mix and give it a couple of swishes till I get up to the the desired amount of water so I get every little bit of juice out of this because the more you get out of this the more flavours you have right so I'll come back to the video now when we get up to the 23 litres and I'll go through the next step right so I've filled this up I got my water to the right temperature I have it here in my second fermenter which is also being sterilised today so you can see there now the bottle is fairly clear I filled it up halfway gave it a good shake so we're going to get all that juice out there. Hold it down low. I don't want it splashing. The whole idea of you're making this, when you're emptying it, you have a nice, clean, empty bottle. Right, so we have that up there now at the right temperature. You can see on the book, you probably can't see there anyway, but we have a temperature strip here, and we have this bucket here. I actually heat this water on top of my hob, and I had to mess around with it to get the temperature right, as I said, in between 22 and 25. So we're going to go ahead now and fill this up 
to, we said we'll go probably 21 and a half, 22, there or thereabouts. So literally, take it easy and pour it in. As I'm pouring this, it's whiffing the smells up into me. Really, really nice. And it tastes as good as it smells when it's done, I'll be a happy man. Right, so we're at 17, 18. 19, 20, 21 and a half. We go, go 21 and a half. Now, all we're gonna do now at this stage is I get my sterile stick. So I'll have me stirring stick now. I get it right down there now. And give, give this a good, good L store for, make sure it's well mixed up. Oh, smell of that. <laughs> really good. Now, as I say, if you want to go the extra and get your 23 litres out of it, you can. Quantity wise, like when this works out already, you're not adding any sugars, you're not doing nothing, you're just literally adding the water in the pack. If you'd avoid this price, it's 50 euros, and you get 30 bottles of wine, you're going to be paying 1 euro 70 a bottle of wine. So, if you lose out on two or three bottles of wine out of that, I'm sure it won't make a difference if it's making the rest of them taste that little bit better. So, I'm a good store here now, and then I'll do a temperature check, because I don't want the temperature to be above 25 when I pitch the yeast. I don't want any chance of killing me up the yeast, and then we won't have any sort of fermentation, because the yeast obviously turns the sugars to the alcohol. seems to be mixed nicely what I have here now on the bar is a bit of kitchen towel because you know yourself red wine it's not quite red wine yet but I don't want to be staining things now you can see there now if I just put that on the counter I don't think my wife would be happy I'll leave that there in the kitchen towel we have the temperature strip here, but I'm just going to use a digital one just to be sure. Okay, so the digital thermometer is telling me 24.8. So that's good enough for me now for pitching that yeast. I'll just clean that off. Now all you do when you're pitching yeast is literally tear open the packet. Sometimes the packets you might need a scissors. This particular one doesn't, it's, it's a paper pack. Now, I'll just show you, I don't know whether you can see that there now, but that's that's what your yeast looks like. Can you, you see that there? So it just looks like loads of little bits of dust, little barley dust. Now, sprinkle this in. This will go to work. Hopefully we should see start seeing a load of bubbles now uh, in 24 hours, 48 hours, 24 hours actually. It's a fast, fast yeast. So that's it. We put the lid on it now. As I say, that's being sterilized as well. Make sure everything is spotless. You don't want any contaminations in ruining your brew. So get a good seal on that. You can hear it all clicking in. Now and I have this here already, as you can see, when I did my sterilization and then I cleaned everything a second time with hot water, this was sterilized and I have this in now, this, push that in, this is the airlock, what happens is I have that filled, you can see there's little lines there, so the CO2 is building up, it escapes through here, it'll be bubbling away but it doesn't let anything back in, any spiders or anything that could contaminate air from the outside, it works. As a little lid here that you can put on it. Okay, so that's all mixed up now and ready to go. Um, I took a sample there which has settled well now to get your hydrometer reading just before um, we pitched the yeast. I had it behind the counter. Um, it's well settled and what we have now is you put your first reading of 1074. 
So what we do is when we're finished then on day five, we'll do another reading. You'll take one from the other and then you'll multiply that answer by 0 0.133 and that should give you your alcohol content, your average alcohol content. It's not a foolproof system. Okay. There you go, Lefton. Okay, so we're now at day 11. I know the box said seven day wine kit, but the fermentation took longer. It actually took seven days. Then the clearing, I left it for an extra day. The 48 hours passed. I got an extra day just to clear a little bit more. Um, so it's completely cleared and settled now. The good thing here now is everything is settled below the line here. I've already poured a little bit out there just in case it was not and caught in the tap. So I'll just show you here now and we'll have a sample. Let's pour small for now. Smells quite nice, surprisingly. Not surprisingly, but for for a workout at one euro seventy five a bottle of wine, my hopes weren't exactly uh, too high. Smells good, looks good. Have a look there, nice and clear. Sure you can see that there now on the camera. Looks like a nice wine, smells good. Have a little taste. actually surprised and um, I've had a lot worse bottles of wine that have cost eight and nine euro that is actually a nice nice wine and you have to remember it's not even aged that much yeah you can drink it now but this wine will obviously get better the longer you leave it that is very nice now what I'm going to do simply here for is these bottles have all been um, sterilized and are sanitized and sanitized and cleaned out, rinsed the whole lot. So I'm literally gonna fill, I have a number of these ready to go. I'm literally gonna be able to fill them here from the tap. So it'll save all the cork. And now I do have corks as well, which I will be using in some other bottles, but these screw top bottles will actually work. They're no problem. And it's not like it's gonna be there for years. This will be used fairly soon. will be given out to people as to try and so on. And um, anyway, Seller 7 wine kit, 50 euro, 30 bottles, it can't go wrong. Easy to make, and um, took a bit longer than I initially thought, and longer than it says, but that was just due to fermentation taking longer. Anyway, um, I'd probably give that wine now an 8 out of 10. Cheers, thanks for watching.